Today, I'm going to show you how to add country of origin data to your Shopify products. Oftentimes, when creating international shipping labels, you need to indicate the country where each product was manufactured on the customer's form. And with Shopify, you can actually save this information for every product in your store. So let's get started. First, we'll log into your Shopify admin account and then click on the products. Now let's start with this product, Copper Light. Let's select it. Once it loads, scroll a bit down till you find the shipping section. And since it's a physical product, let's select this option. And now let's click on add customs information. Right in here, you can add the country of origin data. So let's assume this product was made in the United States. Let's select United States. It's right in here. Now let's save changes. So the country of manufacture was saved for this particular product. Now, if you have products with multiple variants, you have to add the country of origin to every single variant. So in order to streamline this process, we can actually use the bulk edit feature. For that, let me select all the products in my store. There's just only 13 of them. Then select bulk edit. Once the bulk editor loads, at the top right corner, click on columns, and then scroll up and down till you find the shipping section right here, and then click on country of origin. And as you will notice, here's the country of origin column. Now let's start with the first cell. Uh, for the purpose of this example, let's assume that all my products were made in the United States. So let's select the US for the first cell. And now click and hold on the bottom right corner and just drag it all the way to the bottom. It will fill in the rest of the cells. Just like this, we've added the country of origin to all the products. And now let's save changes. Now, once again, let's go back and let's open this product, the first one. Let's scroll a bit down. And as you can see, the country of origin is saved right in here. So that's all I want to show you in this video. I hope you found helpful. For more Shopify tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.